Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Patreon podcast. This week, I wanted to talk about respecting your limits and your boundaries and uh, all that other good stuff. This is kind of a perennial topic for me, but I did miss posting something last week, um, which I think is the first time that I have missed posting something on this uh, this whole series. And, you know, it wasn't really without a terribly good reason, but I have been struggling with a lot of stuff lately. Um, and my wife has been home a lot, which makes recording stuff like this a lot more difficult because when she's home, the house gets a lot louder, um, both because she is, you know, working on stuff and doing her own thing, but also the cats are more active and, and everything else. And if you can hear from my voice, I've been actually struggling with some, with some medical stuff too. So I've been getting better, but I, I, I pinched some muscles in my neck and it's just not, it's not going well. So with that all being said, I decided, um, or rather I kind of forgot that I didn't have anything scheduled anymore. And I remembered halfway through Friday and I was just like, you know what? I, I think that it's going to be okay to, to miss, to miss a week. And that's fine. You know, that's okay. Like even today I'm recording on a Wednesday and I'm still struggling with my, with my neck issues and other stuff. And it's like, I'm not streaming today. I'm going to stream tomorrow or Friday and that's fine. Um, just because I think that it's important to understand, you know, when you need to take a breath and when you need to kind of take a step back and, and regroup and recalibrate a little bit more. Um, because, you know, you can keep pushing yourself and you can always do the thing, but that just gets you closer and closer to burning out. And the longer I've been doing this stuff, the more I've realized how important it is to just find your pace and stick with it. Because like when I was doing the sample pack a month, I had my rhythm and it worked really well for me. And I, and I was able to make a lot of cool things. I was able to make a lot of progress really quickly. The same thing with the two hour track challenge. Like every week I invest time into doing that, but that doesn't mean that it's giving me what's the right word? Like the fulfillment's not the right word, but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely like, I'm, I'm going with like the rhythm that I have. And when that rhythm gets disrupted, I need to, I need to flow with that disruption as well. You can't just force yourself into a particular schedule when life doesn't want you to have that schedule. And a lot of that life stuff is out of your control. So you just do the best with what you have. And you know, that's what I've been doing and it's been tough. Like I've, I feel really crummy that the last, uh, basically the last three days are just wasted because I haven't really been able to move around that much. I haven't really been feeling good enough to sit at my computer a lot and, and work on things. And it just gives me a, a profound respect for people who have things like, um, chronic pain and stuff like that, because this sucks and I hate it, but, um, (laughs) I just, I just want to kind of just talk that it's okay to, to take a step back and, and to understand and respect those limits that you, that you have. And, you know, over, over the last, I don't know, couple of years, I've been, I've been trying to better understand like where, what my cadence is now, because back in 2016 or 2018 or so, I was very, very gung ho on a lot of different things. And over the course of the last couple of years, I've decided to like pare things back and, and better, better understand how I should approach this stuff. And I, I want to, um, I want to better respect my time for that. Um, because it, it can be very overwhelming if, you know, you have to make a video and then you have to make a sample pack and then you have to go make a song and then you have to keep working on your game because, you know, the next game jam happens every three months or four months and that's coming up again. And, you know, that can get overwhelming super fast. And, you know, if you can make that happen, then good on you. But I don't think that that's a normal cadence for a lot of people these days. And I think that it's important to understand and, and respect that. Um, I think in conjunction with that, I I think it's also important to intentionally start or stop things. Um, 
where I, I was recording the creative exploration videos every week and I was recording videos. I wasn't just doing, you know, vocal, like voiceover stuff like I'm doing now. Um, and that was a very conscious decision to, to decision to stop doing those because they were taking just too much of my time and I didn't feel like the, the video format was imparting any extra value onto the actual conversation that I was trying to have. Um, so I was very deliberate on when I ended that. Um, and to compare, like, that's not breaking a habit like breaking a habit would be wanting to do something and then just not doing it anymore. Um, like this, I have been trying to get on the stationary bike every day for, you know, 30 to 45 minutes, whatever, whatever I can handle. And, you know, I missed Monday cause I was feeling terrible. Um, and I almost missed Tuesday until I realized that if I miss too many days, I'm going to lose my habit not my streak, not like any of that other stuff. Like I know there's that, that, that quote from like Seinfeld, I think where he like wrote a joke every day. And that was like, he had to build the streak. And once you have the streak, you want to keep the streak. And it's like, that's, that's a great motivator, but it's also like, you know, I'm not restarting a habit to keep a streak. I'm just restarting the habit to get my body used to doing that habit. It's the same thing with the two hour track challenge. I feel that if I missed a week of the two hour track challenge, I would feel really weird because you know, that's just part of it's, it's like leaving the house without your wallet or whatever. Like it just, it just feels like something's missing. And you know, that's just part of my routine. It's, it's part of, you know, who I am, I guess <laughs> either way. Like I, I want to, I want to try to better understand how this stuff all kind of fits together and, you know, it's, it's been very difficult and I, I have actually a big old list of other topics I wanted to talk about, but this one, this one was definitely moved way up to the top, um, because of how, uh, what is it? What is the word? Prescient? Prescient, I think. Oh, I can't look it up. Anyway, um, no, that's percent. That's not what I want to do. Uh, anyway, how, how relevant it is. <laughs> Anyway, I, I think that that's really all that I had to say, but I really wanted to take some time and say it. Um, I, I hope that you have uh, enjoyed this episode and you got some good value out of it. It does mean a lot to me that you're able to kind of stick around and, and listen to these. And I do apologize for missing last week, but like I said, like I just wanted to, I just kind of wanted to respect the situation that I'm in. And I, I think that that really overall has, has done some good favors for me. So I'm going to keep keep listening to that and, and making sure that what I do is, is within my boundaries. So I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I hope that you have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. I got to get my alliter alliterations in the right order. And, um, I will talk to you in the next one. Be remarkable.